When playing badminton, we really want to have quick reactions. We want to have a fast arm, a fast racket, being able to push really, really hard and fast with very small movements. That's very important in badminton in many places. Usually in the doubles, in the defense, in the flat game, up on the net when you're playing there. But in general, in badminton, it is good to have quick reaction. And that is what this video is all about. We have um, a little bit of a talk about uh, the, the correct technique when using these uh, small quick reactions. And then we have five really, really cool exercises uh, for you to train on your own, showing different areas on court where you can, uh, you can train these quick reactions. Before going to the exercises, let's just briefly talk about how to be able to hit these uh, shots with very, very small and quick movements and how to be ready for the next one coming. Uh, because sometimes it goes really, really fast and we need to be ready to react really, really quickly. First thing that's important is always being loose in your arm. So you can change the grip depending on where the shot will come. The grip inside your hand is really important. So you can change the direction back and forehand the flat power drive, all these things happen inside of your hand. So focus a lot of this being able to be loose, changing the grip really, really quickly. And when we have the loose arm and the loose grip, of course, the finger power is important. How can we generate the power here with a very small, quick movement? Well, the finger power does all the magic. When we push on our, on our grip, maybe changing the grip inside of our hand when pushing, we can add power to the shot with very, very small and quick movements. So the loose fingers and the finger power, backhand, forehand, defense up here, all these places, that's really important. Next thing is that when we hit the shuttle, it's a good idea to use the kickback movements so you are ready for the next one coming. So for example, if I'm doing the flat game in the double, hitting these things, as you can see, when I hit the shuttle, I use the kickback movements back again so I'm ready for the next one coming. If I only did like this, then I needed to change the racket back again and hit again, and that will be too slow uh, if the rally goes uh, very, very fast around the flat game. Also remember to have your racket in place at all times. So for example, if I'm doing the double defense using the kickback movement, I don't push my arm backwards like this. Uh, that will be again very slow for me if I needed to all the way in front and back, front and back. Placement again, right placement again, like this. I could also be at the net if I do a uh, a kill very close to the net if I go for the kill and take my racket down and the shuttle will come again in the, the other side of the court. I need to move my arm all the way up again to do the, the net, uh, net attack on the other side. So stay up, being in position for the next one at, at all times. That's, uh, that's also something you need to focus on. So that was some things to, uh, to consider when, um, when doing these uh, quick reaction exercises. Let's get to it. Let's, um, let's get to the exercise uh, number one. Let's take a look.
That was it. That was uh, five uh, very good exercises uh, for you to train on your own with your, uh, your partner, your sparring partner or in your, your club training. There are of course many other things you can, you can do to, to train this, but uh, these five exercises give you uh, a good uh, choice of, uh, of exercise in order for you to do, um, to practice these quick reactions. So. Um, Try them and try them uh, in the beginning, maybe starting a little bit uh, slow and then adding more pace to the exercise as you, uh, as you master the, the grip and the finger power and the small quick movements. Then do it more quick, 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 quick and see how quick you can do it without losing quality of your shot. If you're standing in the, the defense exercise, you, you saw that the shot will go all the way out in the side or back or you don't hit it at all. Well, maybe the pace is a little bit too high. So uh, um, train this and uh, good luck on, uh, on achieving this and getting uh, more quick when, uh, when playing badminton. Mm -hmm.